Hey guys, Scott here. I want to talk a little bit about our website, relocatenicaragua.com. And before you zip away because you're like, what did what? I don't, I'm not interested in you selling something. That's really what I want to talk about. So please give me a second. So I want to point out a couple things real quickly. One is I was unaware that we had a website. I have a company that has a web team and apparently one of the web managers tasked someone to go throw together a website to like show some ideas. So someone who is a junior web developer who has no connection to what we're doing here went out and just threw together some concepts and instead of putting it at a demo site for people to see, apparently put it on the actual uh, URL. So people have been going to a website and actually seeing some information at relocatenicaragua.com. There was no like completely misleading information or anything like that. It was just a very incomplete web page with some links that go nowhere but that suggested some things we don't do and don't intend to do like having a real estate link and stuff we're not doing anything like that so uh that's really important that we don't want to give a wrong impression so what are we doing with the website because we are going to keep it i'm trying to get it updated right now as we speak i'm taking some of that stuff down now that i know it's there and i found this because a few people said hey i left you messages on the comments on the website and i'm like what are you talking about like there's a website and there's a comment section totally news to me so I really apologize to anyone I've not gotten back to through that. I've tried to reach out to the people that I saw on there uh, already, and I, I am attempting to go through that, and we'll, we'll get on top of that. We're going to figure that out. But So what do we want to do with this website? So we don't want to uh, offer official services. That's something that when we started doing this channel and we came up with the idea of Relocate Nicaragua, um, I think we had a vision of we were one of many voices providing information about Nicaragua. We have quite a bit of experience here. And wouldn't it be cool if we offered an array of services that people could just come and select from us to make relocating really easy? And, and obviously, that's a really cool thing. As we've been doing this, something that's happened is that um, much faster than we ever would have guessed possible if we had ever even assumed it was possible, we are the largest channel for information about Nicaragua. Um, and that kind of puts us into a different position. We're not a real estate company. So real estate companies, you know, they have to make money selling real estate. So they're going to, you know, show real estate and be like, hey, you can buy from us. Right. Totally makes sense. Um, some people are just chronicling their lives. Um, we're in kind of a unique position that we've gotten so much attention, we've done this long enough that it feels like having a relocation service um, that we're uh, doing through the web, through through this channel, and anything like that doesn't doesn't make sense um, because we're just not in the right position to do it. We're in a much more valuable position simply to be uh, providing information and and. My regular audience knows I don't, I don't really make money from doing this channel and I don't need to make money from doing this channel. So having a business or trying to make a business out of relocation, which is the kind of thing you do typically when you're trying to scramble to figure out how to make ends meet when you're living in a foreign country and you don't really have a, a plan and you're kind of in a panic. That's a common thing. We've seen a lot of, and that's, I don't want to be compared to those channels because there's so many of them. And of course, there's one of those channels uh, about Nicaragua that recently shut down because that's exactly what they're doing. They never were able to make a business out of it. And then it turned out they didn't have the knowledge to relocate to Nicaragua. They didn't have a business plan. They didn't know any of that stuff. And so they're channel is essentially useless. Anything that they did, you can't trust the advice. You can't take it as being honest because everything was about a sales pitch. And yes, I'm trying to sell that you can buy me a coffee for making a video that you appreciate, but that's kind of the extent of it. Uh, and so we're, we're revamping the relocatenicaragua.com website to reflect a lot more of what we're trying to do. But of course, it has good SEO because it has that name. So we're going to keep the name. And many of you know that emailing me info at relocate nicaragua.com is the email that comes to me and it's on all the stuff on the site like that's not news that i'm putting it here but a lot of people struggle to find it but you guys know that it's there that comes to me and one of the reasons i use that is i i'm pretty high profile because of this so i don't want to give out my personal email and have emails that are meant for people looking at with nicaragua questions um, to go there and if people find me through my videos but have something that's completely unrelated to nicaragua i can shuffle them off to my private email or whatever and and not have it in like the same pool and not that i want to like segregate the people who are like looking for just like I don't know camera advice versus uh, you know relocation advice but I do kind of want to be in a mindset be like okay I'm gonna look at my Nicaragua stuff right now it's not my daily business um, and and you know it's just important for me to be able to keep that stuff apart it's also important if I need to hand that email off to an assistant to look through 
they know what they're getting into, right? They're just reading stuff about uh, Nicaragua. They're not having to deal with, you know, business consulting, which is my daily job. So that website is going to be revamped to really reflect that. It's going to have contact information to make it easier to reach out to me in case someone gets confused, can't find the information somewhere else. I have links to all of our media and stuff. So if you want to find, like, I don't know, some, some photo feed about Nicaragua instead of videos, yeah, we'll have all that on there is the hope. Um, and then I'm going to post the videos from here and, like, try to categorize them a little bit. That's going to be a little bit down the road, but that's my plan. So like if you want specific types of information um, that we can keep it kind of current. So here you have to like search, search. There I hope that you're able to go and say, um, I don't know, you want to know about cost of electricity? Boom, let's let's look at that category. And maybe here's three or four videos that have been selected that have the information that you're looking for, regardless of what their title is or regardless of their age. They're like organized so you can find the relevant information right away. That's kind of the hope. So what services are we going to be selling through there? That's the point. None. It's not a point to sell services. We've kind of talked about selling services through uh, Relocate Nicaragua, and certainly three years ago, and we kind of threw the idea together, that was the plan. So to everyone who's like, oh, you're just doing this to sell services, I understand why it feels that way and every other site, right? You're talking about the the, the dirt cheap living in Paraguay, the the everything Nicaragua, the all those kinds of sites. Yeah, they're just shills trying to sell stuff and they'll say whatever uh, they make money to, to say. We're not willing to do that. We're not looking for generic sponsors. If we're going to take a sponsor, uh, which we do have one, it's a telephone company, right? It's not something that's going to influence our content. Um, we'd be willing to take like a beer vendor, a rum vendor, things like that we would take as a sponsor, but it's got to be things that are neutral that are not going to influence our content. Um, and so we're very picky about that. Like it's, we're willing to make money on this, but we're not willing to make money in such a way that waters down the message. And that's why Relocate Nicaragua, yes, there is a certain amount of you are free to reach out to me if you want to have a private consultation with me by phone or by a tool like phone, WhatsApp or whatever. Absolutely. I love doing that stuff. I love talking to you guys and I do need to, you know, cover some of my expenses to do so. So I, I do that actually at kind of a loss, but I really like talking to you guys. So it's totally cool. And, you know, I get a few coffees out of it. So that's cool. That's it, it's really just having a chance to talk to me. Um, you don't need the website for that. There's no services associated with it. And of course, the same kind of thing if you want to just hang out with me in person and have me spend, you know, obviously, if you just want to hang out, I love hanging out with you guys. That's cool. Um, but if, if you want to have me like travel with you and do stuff like that's something we can talk about. Um, but we're not offering any formal services. There's nothing to buy through Relocate Nicaragua. The name is there because those are the general foci of the information that is on the web page, right? The, if we wanted to do a travel to Nicaragua uh, web page, we would have a different web page. Maybe it's the same, you know, linking different videos from this channel. Sure, but it's going to be a different page because people who are looking to relocate need to find one set of information concisely and people who are looking to uh, visit and just, just what sites are good to see need to see other information. We don't have that yet, so that's not a thing, but that would be something we might do, I expect we will do in the future because this direction kind of takes us there. So this is really relocatenicaragua.com is really just an informational page to, for the most part, help dispel all the myths and the, the fake sales uh, pitches because there's so much misinformation out there that, and, and they're on pages like this, right? People just advertising that they're doing relocation services or the real estate companies, that's the biggest thing, real estate companies advertising uh, these services. <clears throat> And because of that, sorry, because of that, um, it's important because a lot of people find their information by searching on the web, which is not a thing you do in Nicaragua, but coming from outside Nicaragua, that's how people are looking for this information. And if we don't have that kind of resource to point people to, wait, here's someone not getting paid to tell you this, just giving out this information. But of course, if we get views on the web. I'm, yeah, we make a penny or two. Uh, if enough people do it, yeah, it does a little bit of something. So it's not like we're not making anything, but we're making it simply by you guys being happy with the information we give you and voluntarily giving a coffee or, or you know, giving a tip down on the video. Um, and by getting eyeballs on the videos, that's it. That's that's where we make the money and we're happy to do that. That's that's fantastic. That's starting to be enough that it gets closer and closer to paying for the cameras and stuff. And I love having the cameras, you guys know. So like that's, I do this for fun. I, do, I love sharing this stuff with you. I think having something that looks like it might be a business waters that down so much more dramatically than any potential to make money off of something like that is. Um, and and I, if you're not used to working in relocation services, 
there's no money in that right anyone who's going to make money off of that has to be doing something really shady on the side and and that's not something we want to do i don't want to be associated with that i don't want to look like we're doing that um and uh as so many people like the ones that i mentioned put up these kinds of sites as a, as a as a quick hustle to try to make a few dollars off of people who are unsuspecting and, and don't do their research or don't know how to critically evaluate or haven't been and don't know when they're making up information and so um that it just doesn't seem like it makes sense. I don't want someone to be able to point to Relocate Nicaragua and say, oh, you're doing this because you're trying to push this business. You'll notice we haven't mentioned it on the video in a really long time uh, because it because we haven't been treating it as something. We didn't have a website we, that I knew of. Um, and so we're just changing that. It is just a way to organize the videos from here and to provide a little textual information, um, meaning you know, written blogs. Sure, we'll put some written content on there. And sometimes that's easier to like look things up and be like, here's the information you need. But the explanation is in Scott's really long winded videos. Great. Like you just want to see what the data is. Oh, it's 180 days. Why is it 180? Days? Oh, here's the videos that explain that. Okay. Oh, all I have to do is run to the border. But what's that like? Oh, here's the videos that show it. Right. That it's just going to be an informational page. Um, and, uh, and nothing else. So hopefully that helps reinforce that this is something we're, we are doing uh, because we're passionate about it and uh, not some kind of job um, that's uh, that's that's just out to sell some service that we're that we're selling. Um, but I do want to meet you guys. I want to have phone calls with you guys. I love talking to everyone. Don't think that I'm in any way avoiding anyone. That's that's not the idea. Um, certainly reach out if you want to talk to me um, on the phone or whatever. But uh, as far as having a relocation business, no, that's not something we're going to do. And we've never done anything in real estate, right? That is never something. But everyone just assumes when you say relocation that 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 we're actually selling real estate because that's where the money is. Um, and that's, as you know, I feel super dishonest, even if you're upfront about being a real estate agent, the the act of taking commission um, for for representing someone's interest against their interest is a conflict of interest. And I find completely shady and not something I would do even if I was working in real estate. Uh, so having it appear that we work with real estate is not something that we want it's a very complicated thing any amount of working with real estate that we do is for example if people want to invite us in to show us their houses and they want us to share videos and photos of their houses and talk about their garden and talk about their furniture and talk about their decorations and show what living in nicaragua is like absolutely love it let's do that stuff all day long we're happy to let people know what asking prices are on things so they have some reference or what it's sold for recently tell people stories of buying things absolutely we want to share information and we're not looking but anytime we share a place and we're showing for it we're not getting a finder's fee we're not getting a uh, commission nothing of the sort sometimes people will buy me a bottle of alcohol or something but you know that it's pretty minor just a thank you thing that's that's like the limit so um, I come from Wall Street where getting gifts from people you do business with ha has to be very small. It's a very serious thing because it's easy to use those kinds of things to manipulate people's message and we just don't want to be in a position where um, there's the slightest way to think that the message we're delivering isn't genuine. And now that we've become so high profile and are providing such a valuable service, um, not to toot our own, but it, we just are, right? We're, we're in a position where we have high visibility and the information we have is, is super unique because there's so many people, basically every site you go to is run by a real estate agent or a lawyer who has uh, a really significant, their entire income is based on getting you to buy through them to use them for services that you may not need uh, that aren't a good idea for you and there's absolutely no one in the space stepping back and saying wait is this w w here's what you need to know in the big picture here's who to talk to why to talk to them when to talk to them how long to wait be patient take your time make good decisions there's no one because there's no money to be made in that so anyone who's using a business is going to give you bad advice right i come from a business consulting and it background where our job in it is to keep salespeople from getting to management. That's a really critical thing that we do because once a salesperson gets to management, they're going to tell them what they want to hear. They're going to give them misleading information. They're not in a position normally to critically evaluate what they're being told. And so they're really easy to manipulate. So because of that, that's where we're trying to provide that resource here. The same thing I've done for 35 years in the IT and business space. I'm doing for Nicaragua and relocation and people looking to move abroad and not just Nicaragua. This video right now is about relocatenicaragua.com, but in the grander scheme, we're trying to provide a much bigger Latin American um, relocation travel, like 
whole scope of this is I love Latin America. I love living across the region. I've lived in multiple countries. I ex work in multiple countries. I want to explore. I have offices all over um, and I want to expand and get out in more places. Absolutely. Um, right now, we've been based in Nicaragua. This is our home base, that's not going to change, but the information has been very heavily uh, leaning towards Nicaragua, and we're going to try to broaden that uh, coming up um, very soon. And we do have content from a couple different countries. It's already recorded, uh, but more coming uh, in the future for sure. So with all of that, we really want to uh, provide just a really coherent, trustworthy resource. And of course, there's going to be millions of people that accuse us of a million things, but the handy thing is, is that there's no money being made. There's no business behind it. There's no, there's no paper trail to track. It ends here. Like this is the entire thing. It's me. They can come check anything they want. They can observe me over the wall. Please don't do that. Um, and, and at the end of the day, you can make any claim you want, but it's probably pretty easy to disprove or at least prove that there's nothing behind it, right? If someone wants to say, I'm getting money from some other thing, fine, show me that other thing. Where, where is that, right? Um, and show it to the people. Don't just make wild claims show it and and as always the information that we have right generally verifiable i generally give the the way to verify it not a problem at all so if you want to go check up on things do so because our information is reliable it's not perfect but it's very reliable and it's always a moving target so make sure it's current thanks for joining me uh sorry for the uh it's not exactly a rant just information as to what we're doing with the website but it's a little bit of a rant as to why we feel we have to do it but it's just i just want to feel really genuine about the stuff that we do and uh you know, having a service that's behind the scenes. If I'm going to provide something, I need to make it something completely unrelated to what the video is. Um, of course, it's okay if we make money selling like t-shirts for the vlog or something like that, because that doesn't influence what we do. Um, it's, so, so we'll do that at some point. We've promised to do that, and I'm really bad about getting that done, but we're going to work on that. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in this afternoon's video.